Welcome to the Norman Hall Gallery. Uh, this is Neil Harrington, the gallery director. I want to thank Patrick Fleming for uh, showing with us. And we're going to do a brief gallery talk for you guys. So uh, take it away, Patrick. Uh, first off, thank you, Neil and uh, Arkansas Tech, for allowing me to show my work. Uh, it's very much appreciated. Uh, you know, did I have a this is my art. <laughs> I have a few questions for you. So, how and when did you start making art? Um, geez, as far back as I can remember, I've always been you know, involved with the arts, wanting to be an artist. But at this age, you know, as far back as you can remember, it might be last week. But, um, I, you know, since a kid, I remember being in kindergarten and drawing. I remember being about eight years old and finding a log in the alley and starting to carve a totem. Uh, it's just been something that's been in my blood, I think, forever. What brought you to Arkansas? The war. I used to do business down here, uh, originally from the Chicago area. I lived in Milwaukee for years, got sick of the cold. And uh, used to come down here and go fishing and ride my motorcycle. And I just kind of fell in love with the area. And, um, and it got, you know, the weather, basically. And there's something to be said for Southern hospitality. Great, thanks. I want to ask as well, looking at your work, I think I know what some of your influences might be, but I'd like to hear you talk about some of your influences. Uh, the influences, well, back in, in school, you know, there's uh, Salvador Dali, Picasso, uh, Augusta Rodin was a big favorite, uh, Vincent Van Gogh, uh, Georgia O'Keeffe. Um, but then there's other issues that, that are uh, probably a little more influential to me, like uh, Charles Baudelaire wrote a book of called Flowers of Evil. You know, how can flowers be evil? Well, you look at poppies, you know, that. And then there's um, just a dichotomy of human nature and, and the good, the bad, you know, love, hate. And I, and I do a lot of work with positive and negative space. And one of the things uh, that I do is I, I, I do these Tao teachings and some meditations. And this was written back in the 6th century BC, and it's a poem that kind of explains my art. Like 30 spokes converge on a hub, but it's the emptiness that makes the wheel work. Pots are fashioned from clay, but it's the hollow that makes the top work. Windows and doors are carved for a house, but it's the space that makes the house work. Existence makes something useful, but non-existence makes it work. So I kind of do that. I try to do that within my paintings, uh, with the positive and negative space and, and human nature and it so that people can basically put their own thoughts into what I do. Right. Do you have a, a specific work that you would like to uh, talk a little bit about in well, particular? I mean, there's all of them. There's some over here. But these are what I call my Dream War series. These are just two. And <clears throat> these are based on childhood experiences from uh, night tremors and dreams and, and growing up in various parts of town and, and what it represented to me. This one here is called Halloween 1965 and this one here is called String Theory. Uh, this one is based on a family member who uh, <clears throat> basically fought in World War II and was injured. Uh, and some of the ex emotional trauma because today they call it PTSD. Back then, they didn't know what to call it. Uh, so uh, that one is based on that. This one was based on some medical issues back when I was a kid, um, where I ended up with some pretty serious complications. So, and I have a few more in the studio that I'm working on, but it's, these are just kind of private things that aren't for sale. I think this is only the second time I've shown them in public, so um, kind of personal. These seem to really um, combine the organic plant matter type of imagery with some human figurative things. I mean, both organic, but yeah, you can kind of see the nature and uh, the humanity going on in, in those pieces, I think. Yeah, they, you know, the few people that have seen them are intrigued by them. Some of them are standoffish. <laughs> 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 but, uh, it is what it is, you know? It's, uh, it's, just, it's like you're just trying to purge some of the past demons that everybody has. And I know we talked about it privately before, but uh, 
what are some of the comments? Uh, you know, I know I wrote down some questions before this, but what, what are some of the things that you're most asked and what's something you wish people would ask? You know, I'm not sure what I would wish people to ask um, mm -hmm. because then it would be taken away from what they're thinking about the work. You know, people put different uh, images in their mind. Some people love it, some people uh, just get a little tan standoffish by it. Um, there's various things that have happened, you know, talking to people. And I like standing back sometimes when they don't know I'm the artist to hear some of the responses. Um, I think that's very interesting. Uh, it's, just, it's just one of those things that I just do, I guess. Um, it, it's, it's hard to... It's hard to explain exactly what it is I'm trying to accomplish. I have a general idea in mind, and then as I go through it, that idea evolves or, or becomes what you see here. Well, I think that that's a very good way of creating artwork. I know myself, I like to start with the general plan and then just kind of see where it takes me. You can't really commit too much too early. You, you kill the, the life of the piece, I think. <clears throat> yeah, and I've done, you know, I've done landscapes, I've done portraits. Um, commissions for some dogs, a horse, uh, portraits, things of that nature. But this in here is more for me. It's, it's, it's me feeding my, my soul, my, my inner strengths. I guess the last thing I'd like to ask you, and I'd like to mention too, we did this installation and show here at Norman Hall Gallery at Arkansas Tech University. Uh, socially distanced, we wore our masks while in, installing. Uh, I'll walk around and take better video for the rest of it, but I want to ask you, do you have other shows or commissions coming up that you want to talk about and promote? Well, I've had some shows, but with COVID, that painting got put by the, um, some of it got canceled. But I do have some opportunities that I'm pursuing again at, at various locations. I'm a veteran, so I get involved with the suicide prevention, and they look for veteran artists to show their work. I did one in Texas last year, and I actually, right before I came, I received an email asking if I would show up again. And then there's one that I'm going to be in Fort Smith that I'm going to apply to. Um, uh, as far as that, I'm just trying to move forward with COVID uh, and, and just keep sitting down in the studio, staying away from people and working on art. Well, I sure appreciate you showing here, and I think that covers a lot about your work, and I would encourage people to come uh, to Norman Hall Gallery on the campus of Arkansas Tech. We're open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, and as you can see from this poster, I'll come back around. Again, I'll post a better video going on here, but we're up January 11th through February 12th. Fractured Fantasies. Have a good day, everybody. Please come check out the show.